Hello and good evening everyone. Today we will discuss about election 2022. As we all know that in the year Hello and good evening everyone. Today we will discuss about election 2022. As we all know that in the year 2022 there is a election. In the starting of the year Jan to March the election of five state assemblies that is UP, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Manipur and Goa. In the middle of the year the like biannual election of the Rajya Sabha and the, in the end of the year the election of Himachal Pradesh and Gujarat. As we all know that uh, in a politics there is a uh, several issues same and several issues difference in a state politics as well as national at a central level politics election. Talking about central level there is a difference that like we talk about uh, national security, unemployment but in a state assemblies there is we talk mostly about a domestic issue. We are talking about especially for example that is a Punjab. So uh, in the year 2022 the main topic is about the agriculture, farm sector and the recent introduction was a farm law. Parties are going to uh, make uh, rules and uh, manifesto according to them and uh, in, uh, if you are talking about UP that uh, CM is uh, Yogi Adityanath there is a main issue is uh, uh, Ram temples and uh, and other uh, politics over there but the what is the main that is uh, a people wanted the challenges in front of parties that now people are more uh, due to the pandemic more aware about uh, the politics and uh, now the issue is um, in front of that uh, how they are handling a pandemic uh, and uh, how they are contributing a health sector and more issues that uh, need uh, address to be address that is uh, unemployment in the state as well as uh, how to increase employment and uh, more empl employment opportunities and whether a health sector education sector these are the main uh, issue that uh, people want to address by the political parties now talking about the challenges in front of election commission of india as we all know that due to the pandemic election are uh, due to the election there is a uh, uh, possibility of spread of a pandemic in um, among the people and for this that government of uh, that uh, for that election commission of india take uh, some steps that that totally ban on a uh, um, nukkad street rallies as we all know that uh, in a previous election of West Bengal, there is a, a hike in a pandemic, hike in a patient of coronavirus because of the rallies. So this time, government of uh, election commission of India take a step that is a completely ban, and now introduce uh, uh, more rallies towards the digital uh, through the digital platform. For that, uh, election commission of India. Uh, uh, give a guidelines like a mode of code of conduct as well as take a permission from the media media um, for they have to take permission from the media certification apply for the media certification and monitoring committee that will be pre-certification for the advertisement as well as uh, election commission of india also increase the total spending expenditure from a 20 lakh to 40 lakh because we also know that due to the digital advertisement they need a more, more money in the sector but uh, there is a assurance that there is a proper follow of code of conduct and there is a no hate speech and that make a divide among the communities so i i think in this way and uh, there is a peaceful conduction of election into these states thank you